to allow states to reopen for business, but only for places with strong testing and that are seeing a decrease in COVID-19 cases. It's a phased in plan for reopening the economy with each phase lasting 14 days. Governors were instructed they could move through the guidelines at their own pace and that these are not orders from the federal government. We will have more on this later in the newscast with a live report. But first, we want to take a look at what's happening here in the borderland. In a story we broke to you last night, the Diocese of Las Cruces is allowing parishioners to return to church and celebrate mass with them in person, keeping the number to the state mandate of five or fewer. ABC 7's Brianna Chavez has the details on how it's going to be managed from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Well, here at the Immaculate Heart of Mary Cathedral, there are a few people inside involved in a moment of prayer. And this cathedral easily holds up to hundreds of people, but large gatherings were put on hold due to COVID-19. But the diocese on Wednesday made the decision to allow five people inside to celebrate Mass. The diocese has made the decision uh, that priests are allowed to celebrate Masses in the presence of the faithful. The diocese made the decision on Wednesday to resume Mass in person after they banned parishioners from attending last month to help stop the spread of COVID-19. I have been reflecting on the great responsibility that this service requires of me. Las Cruces Bishop Peter Baltacchino made the decision to have churches reopen to a select few after hearing how the stay-at-home order has impacted people all over the world, especially here in southern New Mexico. The diocese says it's up to the parishes to decide who's allowed to come in and even decide if they want to hold drive-in services outside the church parking lots. And the way that they're doing it is most priests are having a list, so we're encouraging uh, parishioners to contact their normal uh, mass that they go to on Sunday, call the office, see if they have the drive-in option available, or if they can sign up for a list, be put on a, a list, waiting list, so that they, they can attend. This whole parking lot here at Immaculate Heart of Mary Cathedral will be filled with cars to attend those drive-in services, but you'll have to be inside in order to attend one. I'll let you know more details coming up on ABC 7 at 6. In Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Brianna Chavez, ABC 7. We reached out to the Diocese of El Paso about its plans. It said the diocese, and here's what they had to say. The Diocese of El Paso is currently not considering anything like that. Okay. We're, we are under, we are in, in accordance with uh, the county judge and the, and the mayor. Uh, we we will continue to, to do what we, we're doing in streaming masses and keeping our number as limited as we possibly can for those people that are streaming masses to under 10 or less. No more than 10 or less, which is what we've been allowed by the county judge.